This girl was a void day girl, as nobody, mother, cervical cancer, father unknown. She was recruited by the Aung Sun Tong gang and she was being trained as a fighter. The very first day, she got caught by the police and I, she was brought to me by her auntie. Very good looking, nice, gentle girl walking into my room. I said, this girl is a gangster, I couldn't believe. Something, you know, made my heart melt. And I asked her, would you like to be my daughter? And she looked at me and said, you Indian man, you want to be my daughter and <laughs> father? I said, why? She asked me. And then she kept going, she said, why? I said, because I have three sons, but I don't have a daughter. Since you are before me, I think God has sent you here. Your auntie is here. You go and ask your mother whether she will allow you to, you know, be, be looked after by me. Then she said, give me time. Then she went back. About a week later, she came back and said, okay, what must I do? I said, we sign a social contract about your behavior and my behavior. What I can do to you and what I cannot do and what you can, you must do. Will you study? She said, yes, but they won't take me because I have a gangster background. And the gangsters in the school have put me into a lot of trouble. And every time they beat me, they complain about me and I get the punishment. So I cannot, they won't take me. So I went to Ministry of Education and got hold of them. And they said, you should not be doing this case because you are a former magistrate and you have a good name. Why do you want this girl under your you know, supervision? She will bring bad name to you. So I said, give me three months. Let me try. And if three months, probation officer says she's turning around, you must give her an opportunity. They said, good luck. So, during the three months, I, she was at home, tuition teachers were going, Mandarin, Maths, English, Science, to catch up two years' work, you know, about one and a half years' work. And she obediently studied. And, you know, within six months, uh, I was able to get, in June, this was in January, June, I was able to get a place in the school, same school, although the principal was not willing. Director, uh, assistant director called me and said, okay, we give her one chance because of you. Otherwise, we will never take her. I hope she doesn't let you down. <laughs> so I said, God on my side, now I shall move, you know, and help her. So we helped her with education. She put her in school. Within six months, she became sixth in class. A complete turnaround because they asked, the probation officer asked her, why do you want this Indian man to be your foster father? He said, everything good has been happening ever since he came into my life. So, I mean, that is enough for me. I think people need to know that there are a lot of help that's uh, needed and they should put out their hand. You know, just put your hand around. Some need just love and care. They don't need money. They need time to listen to and someone to talk to. End of the day, when you close your eyes, you feel happy. It's not how much money you're leaving behind. It's about how much, uh, you know, happiness, you know, you're leaving behind, right? How many people you're happy, making happy.